guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. I have a kind of like a first impression haul video today. This was something that I ordered from an Instagram ad, guilty as charged. It was something that I saw and then I clicked and I went to the page like the website and found out more information and then of course especially because I had actually clicked on it and Instagram keeps track of like everything you ever look at it kept appearing it kept appearing it kept appearing and I let it be on my Instagram ads for about six weeks and then I finally pulled the trigger when I saw like a discount code on Super Bowl Sunday so today I'm talking about the magic candle company I picked up four like wax melts things that you put in a wax warmer and one candle so that's what we're going to talk about today but before I go on I want to you to just see my shirt because I know that it would annoy me if I were you and I could only see part of it so just like a little clueless moment I got this off Amazon I'm actually quite sick. I stayed home from work today, so. The Magic Candle Company is a company that specializes in scents that are like themed after Disney scents. So it's like not Disney trademarked or licensed or whatever, but they have things like inspired by scents that you would find like at the Disney parks. And so the one that originally popped up on my Instagram ad and the one that really made me like actually want to pull the trigger on this is one called Pirate Life. Now I'm a little worried that when I smell this like again I'm sick so I don't know if I'm gonna be uh you know my scents are gonna be a little bit dulled because of that probably but I don't care I'm stubborn and I want to film this anyway. So I have always said that the smell of Disney water is what I call it is like my favorite smell in the world and I've always said if I could bottle that up in a candle form or like in a perfume form like I love that smell you smell that smell in Pirates of the Caribbean because there's water in that attraction but you also smell it in like Splash Mountain those two are probably the biggest ones and then there are other places throughout the resort or different attractions where there's water and you can smell that Disney water scent. In fact, one of my favorite perfumes of all time, which is called Gypsy Water by Byredo, which is like a very high-end fragrance, that in a way kind of reminds me of the Disney water smell. Like it's very much been a thing that's come out of my mouth for years, like Disney water. So I stumble upon this candle ad, it's called Pirate Life, and it even went on to describe the whole thing about, I think it's a chemical that they use in the water called like bromine, I could be like not getting that quite right, but it's like basically a chlorine type cleaning chemical that they use in the water, which is what gives it that murky Disney water smell, because I think it's like a safer ingredient than just straight up chlorine, because like... Disney and liabilities and if people were to like touch the water or the water splashes onto their bodies I don't know let's see if this yeah, yeah, yeah okay yes okay girl I got it right gosh these loud cars out there are so annoying I'm sorry ever been on a dark water ride then you are familiar with that distinct scent um, that all fans know and love these rides use an additive called bromine or Brahmin, I don't know. Though we can't make a bromine candle, we crafted our own that captures the spirit of a dark water ride. So this is the larger size of the two candles. There were two for sale. I don't know how many ounces this is. I don't think it tells me on here, but on the website, basically you can choose any of their scents in like a air freshener form, an essential oil form, wax melt, and a candle form. This is the candle, the larger of the two, like I mentioned. Let's just go ahead and open it. Oh, okay, so before I even smell it, you see that it has that lovely, like, crackly wick, which I'm very into. Here comes the moment of truth. Okay. I don't know how to react. It does not immediately smell to me like, oh my gosh, this smells like Disney water, which is obviously what I was hoping for. It does smell good. And honestly, when it's lit, maybe it will transform a little bit. It kind of smells like new shoes. It kind of smells like leather. Which, I mean, those are great things in my book. I don't know. I can get maybe like a hint of it, a hint of that like murkiness. But honestly, it's so hard to like describe that smell. Okay, they need to just make a bromine candle. Why can't they? Because it's a chemical? 
honestly, like I said, it smells good. It smells kind of like new shoes, but I'm not as like floored as I thought I would be. But I, I still got to burn it. I can't make decisions just yet. The other items that I got were all like wax melts. I have a wax warmer and I just love using it. So I thought I would pick some of these up. Again, these come in candle form and a few other forms. Um, the first one I got is called Poison Apple. I am impartial to Snow White. She's my favorite. And I like apple scented things. I actually need to like pull these up so I can read you the description. Magic Candle Company. Alphabetical. Poison Apple. Poison Apple. Yeah, they have so many on their website there were several that I like was intrigued with you know that I like wanted to pick but these were the ones that I ended on okay poison apple it says it has crisp blood red apple cinnamon and caramelized sugar I'll be the judge of that good thing my nails look like crap anyway because I'm just having to like get in here okay yeah it definitely smells good it's like a cinnamon caramel apple yeah that smells really good I like that it reminds me of like a Bath and Body Works caramel apple they had a caramel apple candle but like even better like even a little bit less synthetic yeah that smells really good I'm excited and I feel like apple scents work in a house like year-round honestly so I'm excited for that the next one that I will show you here is called mouse waffles and see the cute little tag there so this one is after those infamous Mickey Mouse shaped waffles and it says the description is warm batter and sweet maple um, yeah so it's just meant to smell like warm batter and sweet maple syrup okay I hope it's like as authentic as the uh, Apple one was God, these are really packed in here, which I guess is good. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Definitely. It's very sweet. I, like, opened that. And again, I am sick, so, like, my senses are a little bit dulled and, like, kind of clogged up. But I opened that, and I got a whiff of, like, a sweet gourmand type of scent. And then when I really do smell it, it does smell kind of like, I can smell, like, the butter in there. Yeah, I feel like once you warm that up, that will actually really smell like waffles. So yeah, that's super good. The next one that I have here is called Walt's Office. This one was kind of like a random one, but I just wanted to take a chance on it. It seemed like it would be good. Looks like this. This one is described as capture the spirit and imagination. Oh, the spirit of imagination and dreams rich warm spicy aroma of cured pipe tobacco with clove honey rose violet vanilla hay benzoin okay so i think it's gonna be like a leathery sweet i don't know like something i'm attracted to <laughs> oh my gosh these are hard to open Ooh, i like it Okay, so it definitely smells like, yeah, like leather, pipe tobacco, clove, honey. Yeah, that's nice. It's really nice. It's kind of like um, multifaceted, but I do like that there's that honey in there as well as like the tobacco and stuff. It's not too masculine. It's just really nice. I like that. It's actually kind of exactly what I would picture like. Walt Disney's office to smell like or like you know what I mean just kind of like an older man's office I don't know it's really good the last one that I picked up is called churro and I mean come on Disney churros are pretty infamous so I really hope they capture this scent well let's see how they describe it it's gonna make your mouth water with this classic theme park snack unmistakable aroma of delicious fried pastry with cinnamon and sugar don't let me down don't let me down Wah, wah. No, I mean, it's good. It's sweet. It's cinnamony. It's all that. But, like, it doesn't sit here and, like, smell like a churro, in my opinion. 
Honestly, this is probably my least favorite out of those other three. Like, it's not bad, it is good, but it certainly doesn't smell like a fresh churro, which is what I was hoping for. Okay, so, so far, so good. I mean, again, this was like the true reason that I placed this order. Let's smell him again. You know what? I don't know if I'm imagining this. I don't think I am. I did get that water smell a little bit more on that second whiff. If nothing else, I mean, I do like that it has that crackly wick. I think that's a nice touch. I'm into it. I don't know. I just think, like, if you're a Disney fan especially, there are so many fun, like, Disney things on this website like there's ice cream parlor which I actually did used to work at the Gibson Girl ice cream parlor on Main Street just saying so I thought about getting that because that's kind of like a fun like scent memory thing there's the Floridian you know like one of the hotels in Florida and just a lot of really fun ones and then it looks like they threw in this extra which is an air freshener and this one is like not Disney but it's the extraterrestrial forest so it looks like it's supposed to be um ET and yeah I did not pay for this so they threw this in it says it's scented like metallic and moss metallic what fur needles musk balsam and sandalwood let's give her a smell that's super interesting. Honestly, I like it. I really like it. <laughs> it's very interesting. I would never have picked that out on my own because I'm not necessarily like, oh my gosh, I want an ET thing. I mean, the scent description is fine. For my car, that'll be nice. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but it's like good. It's kind of fresh, earthy, clean. It doesn't smell like overly Christmassy. Not that that's a bad thing. Like, I love like balsam and stuff but um I read that in the description and thought it might be super Christmassy it wasn't bad so okay overall I'm satisfied I'm happy I still like I'm not totally sold like I don't want you to think that that pirate life candle like exactly smells like this the ride I don't know like it, it's reminiscent of it we'll say that it's reminiscent but like how can you capture a scent so perfectly Sometimes I just don't know if it's possible, but this was a super fun brand. I had fun unboxing it. I am optimistic that those products will perform well. Let me know if you've ever ordered anything from the Magic Candle Company or if I piqued your interest at all. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I did used to work at Disneyland, fun fact. So I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Bye.